Hello and welcome to another Myriad IT Services um, knowledge sharing screen cam. Today we're going to talk about our new offering which is called um, ERP Analytics. Um, ERP Analytics is a concept that we've come up with which enables you to slice and dice your ERP usage information using the Google Analytics framework. So what we've been able to do is plug JD Edwards, the ERP, into, the, into Google Analytics or plug Google Analytics into JD Edwards and then use all of the slice and dice capabilities from Google Analytics to enable you to have greater insight into your ERP usage, um, into the technology being used to look at your ERP and um, allow you to make better decisions and be able to track performance of your ERP on a real-time basis. So what I'd like to do is actually um, have a look at some of the capabilities of um, ERP analytics and um, show you what the product is could potentially do for you. So I'm going to drill down into this website here and what I can see is a brief history of the ERP usage on this front screen. I can see that the majority of users are returning users and that makes a lot of sense because that's a cookie based um, returning visitor and generally for your ERP you'll be getting your standard users logging in from their standard browsers. What we can see here is in the, in the amount of time that we're dealing with, so from July 26th to August 25th we've serviced um, nearly 16,000 JD Edwards sessions. On average, those sessions run for 39 minutes, so we can see our timeout's probably set for 30 minutes, maybe it's set for um, 60 minutes, I'm not sure at this particular site. Um, and we've had a unique number of uh, 1,111 users. Now that's a unique ba number of users based on cookies, not based upon um, JD Edwards ERP user IDs, but we can show you that information as well. We can see in that month that we've had over or almost 800,000 page views in that amount of time, so unique ERP pages loaded. And um, we can see on average people are loading about 51 pages per session. Now this is all fantastic information, but I tell you what, it only gets better. What if we wanted to have a look at um, what browsers people are using to look at our um, SOE environment and to see um, what's being used to access the ERP and we can see the majority for this particular site they're using Chrome but there's been some Safari, some Internet Explorer and some Firefox so that's pretty interesting. What about um, for our mobile devices? Anyone on mobile devices been accessing this web website? Yes we can see in terms of mobile devices iOS so we've had iPads um, there at 103 sessions and 7 on a Windows mobile device so that's an interesting information as well. What else have we got here? Well, we can see our geo, we can see our geo behavior as well, and we can see the location of our users, where they log in from, and this is interesting information. And we can see that for the majority, everyone's logging in from Australia. Of course, we can drill down into Australia, and we can see the majority coming in from Western Australia, but there are people from South Australia, Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria. And all of these sites, all of these um, graphs that you see, you can drill down into all of them and you can see specific information, pages per second. You can see what your users are doing based upon where they're logging in from, which is extremely interesting information. What we've also been able to do at Myriad IT Services is write some custom reports and actually report on custom attributes of data. So we are actually able to look at um, what we call our security analysis and we can see what users are running what particular applications. And so we can see in the last month we're tracking 716,000 page views here and we can see some of our users are actually responsible for 2% of the total page loads of the ERP, which is quite amazing. And um, and we can also see how many people, there's 282 unique users of the JD Edwards system for this particular site, and, um, but we can see some people are responsible for 2%, 2%, 2%, 2%, so that there's five users responsible for 10% of the total application use. Not only that, we can drill down into the particular user 
and we can see what applications they're using and as a percentage of their day how much or as a percentage of their ERP usage what applications are taking up what percentage of their time so we can see that that particular user we've drilled down into this user we can see that they're predominantly an AR user a little bit of sales mostly AR and they're choosing printers, so they're doing a lot of report running and choosing their printers with the P986162. Um, we're able to overlay any of the graphs that you see on any of these forms with some performance information. So we can see average page load times um, for this particular user any day of the week. We can drill down into weekly and monthly, whatever we like and we can see how this user has been performing in terms of average page load times etc and we can see that the ERP performance at this site is pretty good with an average server response time of 0.11 second now um, Google Analytics works off the browser and browser timing so then we can see the actual page load time um, that the browser was experiencing and this is a little bit higher um, than the previous um, numbers we saw but still actually not page download I'm sorry, page load time, which is a little bit higher than the average server response time, but still exceptional. But sub-second performance we get consistently all the way. What we're also able to do, and this is very handy at upgrade time, is you can see what applications are your most popular applications, how much they're being used, and you can even drill down to the performance of these individual applications. So what I'm able to do is say for the P4210, what is the average page load time for the P4210? All of this information is available to me here, right here, right now. And then I can also divide that by what users are using the P4210. So you've got some pretty amazing slice and dice functionality here. Some other interesting things that we're able to show you is where your users are coming from and how they're using the ERP. So you can see for this particular installation, we can see that we uh, we can see the number of sessions coming from Australia, coming from Russia, China, Canada, United States. All of these all this information we're able to see for, with this map overview. And so you can imagine if your ERP users were coming in from around the world, you'd be able to see how many of them are coming from each individual location, you know, pending how your network infrastructure is set up. And we can also see what technology our users have been using when they come in. And predominantly, um, people are using Chrome, very interesting statistic. And second of all, Internet Explorer, they're close. But more people using Chrome than IE. And then we drop down to Firefox and Safari. We can see how many pages those guys have been doing as well. Now for something very interesting and something one something that I really think is great is we can actually see real time what your users are doing. So I'm going to drill down into this site and right at this very moment I can see that there's a 45 users logged into this ERP. I can see that the ERP is serving up approximately 100 pages per minute to those 45 users and I can see pages per second, so approximately 4 pages per second right at this very moment sometimes that the, that the website's serving up. I can see right now the users are predominantly logging in from Perth, but we have a, a sole user here coming in from Sydney, and of course that might just be how the network's set up, that the ISP is coming from Perth. We can also drill down into some network analysis for this particular site, and then we can see on average the, the service provider scan safe for the majority of the users, but then there's a bunch of others that come in as um, Brennan Voice and Data, TPG, etc. And we can see how many sessions are coming in from those particular um, resources. And we can also, and then we can drill down on any of these values as well to see pages per second based upon um, where they're coming in from. Okay, so that's incredible data that we're able to get at any time that we need this information. We can look at the content of the various pages and right now we can get a good summary of what people are doing so you can see exactly what people are doing in your ERP. Right now, this is how many people and we can see where they're logging in from. It's amazing real-time information we've got going on here. What we're also able to do is actually um, create custom intelligence alerts. So what we can do is create custom alerts for this particular um, client to say, well, if page load times 
uh, running in less than in greater than two seconds I want to be sent an email I want to understand this information or if the average session session duration is less than 15 minutes maybe there's a problem with the server or the timeouts or something's gone wrong so we're able to do all of these things with custom alerts with ERP analytics which is also allows you to be proactive with your ERP and proactive with your users and more proactive with problems Finally, I'd like to show you some of the things we can do with the performance metrics. So there's specific areas of Google Analytics which are just for performance. And interestingly, what we're able to do here, we're able to see that on average, the Chrome page load time is 0.6 of a second. And on average, the Internet Explorer page load time is, point, is one second. So we can see that on average, um, Chrome is much faster than Internet Explorer and we look at the full result here and we can see here that, um, that you know predominant, predominantly the users are of course Chrome but Internet Explorer is about 1% um, of those page load times and it's on average 64% slower so that's pretty amazing and all this information can come out of Google Analytics anytime you wish. Um, you're able to drill down on particular speed suggestions from Google Analytics so they can look at how your pages are loading the content of the pages and offer some, some suggestions for making your ERP um, quicker. So this is all available to you, all out of the box and all part of the service that Myriad IT provides when um, implementing ERP analytics for your particular ERP. So I think that gives you a good insight and a good introduction to what um, ERP analytics could do for you. Uh, please don't hesitate to get in contact with Myriad IT services. We could set you up an account in no time. The actual implementation of, um, we'll explain to you how we um, hook in Google Analytics to your ERP. That of course is very simple also. There's no real change. It's got a very, very light payload on your ERP and in terms of the information that you'll be able to extract out of Google Analytics um, the, the small um, hit out to the internet to, um, to store that page information is well worth it. Okay, so any questions please get in contact Shannon Moyer at myriadit.com. Thanks very much.